published 0754 EDT, the 2nd of September 2017, updated 0754 EDT, the 2nd of September 2017. Against all odds, Syria's footballers have overcome more than six years of civil war and internal political rifts to raise hopes of qualifying for the first ever World Cup. Forced to play the home games away due to security concerns, Amin Hakim's Syria have embarrassed a succession of better sourced opponents to sit third in Group A of Asian qualifying, behind leaders Iran and South Korea. An unlikely win away to Iran on Tuesday coupled with defeat for South Korea by Uzbekistan in the final round would give Syria second spot and direct entry to the finals in Russia next year. Syria still stand a chance of qualifying for the World Cup with just one game remaining Syria face a tough task to qualify automatically but will seal the playoff spot if they finish third even if results do not entirely go the way Syria can still hold on to third spot and have a chance to qualify through two rounds of playoffs. Political divisions threatened to gut the team early in the campaign, with players refusing to represent their country in protests over the actions of Bashar al-Assad's regime during the conflict. But they have softened the stance, with veteran striker Firas al khatib ending his exile in March before Omar al-Somar was recently lured back to partner al-Hilal's Omar Kurban in attack. Stadiums in Malaysia have offered sanctuary throughout the final phase of qualifying, with only a handful of Syrian fans able to offer the compatriots support. Despite being perpetually on the road, the results have continued to stack up. On Thursday, they defeated Qatar 31 at Hangjabat Stadium in Malaysia, eliminating the rich Gulf states and 2022 World Cup hosts from the race to Russia. Syrians watched the game in a cafe in Damascus as the national team beats Qatar 31 Mahmoud Almar West celebrates after scoring a goal for Syria in a 22 draw with China Syria face a formidable task in Tehran against an Iranian side that has yet to concede a goal in this qualifying phase. Carlos Queiroz team have been imperious booking the Russia ticket in June, but the Syrians are bolstered by the return of Al Soma, a player who could turn the tide in the favor. Syria's most celebrated footballer due to his goal-scoring exploits with Saudi club Al Ali, Al Soma celebrated his return with victory over Qatar. Thanks to God, my return to the national team was good, he said after the game. I hope that we can bring joy to our people who need such joy. I will give my best in the next match in order to win and hopefully we can qualify for the World Cup. Along with the inform Kerban who struck twice against the Qataris, Syria could have the tools to unlock Iran's stingy defense. Asian football is no stranger to war-affected nations making a big impact. Iraq won the first Asian Cup in 2007, at the height of the insurgency triggered by the United States-led coalition invasion in 2003.